Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In this video, we're going to be talking about the concept of addition polymerization, or the process by which we can form long chain polymers um, in, in plastics um, based on um, alkenes as kind of as the, the, the fundamental building blocks. So we've got kind of two key terms to introduce first, just to help us in, in kind of to, to develop our language here. So we talk about monomers and polymers. Now monomers are basically the building blocks of long chain molecules, okay, which we call polymers. Um, so we get now these monomers can be um, multiple kind of uh, can, can can take lots of different forms. We've talked about them in the past about in the form of carbohydrates or amino acids. Um, we now are looking at uh, two other types of polymers that are the basis of plastic materials instead of natural kind of long chain molecules. But um, when we start talking about, okay, we're forming a polymer from a series of monomers, that's just so that you're familiar with the language there. Okay, so what we're doing here is that we are forming, um, so we're forming polymers from alkene monomers. Um, without ejecting any other substances. Okay, so we've got alkenes, um, and then unlike in um, when we're looking at uh, condensation polymerization, um, where we're ejecting a water molecule for every covalent bond that's connected, um, this doesn't involve loss of any other substances. So, okay, so say we're taking ethylene, yeah, ethylene monomers, I'll draw a series of them here, and turning them into a long chain alkane structure. Okay, so we've got these as our alkenes connecting to, so which contain that carbon carbon double bond connecting together to form a long, longer chain polymer. So whereas these are called ethylene, this would be known as polyethylene. Just had to check for a moment that I spelled it right. But yeah, so taking ethylene, connecting them together into a long chain structure called polyethylene. Okay, so some of the other monomers that we that we talk about. So we've got ethylene, which is the simplest one that we can consider. We have this one, which is propylene or propene. We have vinyl chloride. And we also have this one, which is called styrene. So these are all commercially important monomers um, that involve that, that um, produce some of the plastics that we know about and that we use a lot: polyethylene, polypropylene, the, the basis of like your reusable green bags, polyvinyl chloride or PVC, and polystyrene. Okay, so there are there are other monomers out there that are of interest to us, but these are some of the ones that we would come across more commonly. So now I'm just going to quickly go through the 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 stages of forming a polymer from an alkene monomer. Okay, so the three main stages that we're talking about here, we talk about initiation, propagation, and termination. So in this initiation step we get this compound here called benzoyl peroxide. So benzoyl peroxide is a very reactive substance. It's called a, a peroxide because of this functional group here, with two oxygens connected by single bonds this way, and then single bonds to um, other components on the outside. What happens is that this peroxide bond is very unstable. And so that by absorption of energy, this peroxide bond cleaves or breaks in two, with one electron going onto each oxygen atom, giving us two of these what we would call benzoyl radicals. Okay, so you can see that's unpaired electrons present on the oxygens here, which is crucial to the next um, stage of the process. I'll just clear that off a little bit so we've got some more room. What happens then is that our benzoyl peroxide radical encounters an alkene molecule, like ethylene. 
And what that does is that this unpaired electron attacks or kind of approaches this carbon. But because this carbon cannot have more than four covalent bonds, what happens is that one of the double bonds break, or the second bond of the double bond breaks. And the existing one of those electrons is involved in connecting to this oxygen, and then the other electron goes on to the other side of this carbon here. And so we have an unpaired electron that is existing on now on this far carbon, on the one that has now become um, connected onto this radical. Okay, and what that then happens is that then we see that this begins a chain reaction that continues. And so then the next, it can approach another alkene molecule because there's, um, oh, sorry, there should be an oxygen in here. There's pl plenty of other um, alkene molecules around when this process is happening. So just like um, nuclear kind of radioactive decay that, that one starts and then leads to the next, which leads to the next. I just realized that my webcam here just went all a bit stupid. Sorry about that. Okay, so this attacks this carbon, which breaks that bond, causes the unpaired electron to progress to the other end. That is a hexagon. Despite many years of chemistry experience, apparently drawing simple geometric shapes escapes me sometimes. Okay, now I'm not going to bother drawing in the hydrogens at the moment because you kind of you're getting the idea but so what then happens and then this this connects to another alkene and another alkene and another alkene and this process propagates okay so we get step one we start the process step two we continue the process and step three we terminate the process so what happens then is that we've got our our chain now i'm just going to you know this will be many you know hundreds of units long at this point and so we've got our carbon bond here we've got an unpaired electron here on the whatever, whatever that far end would be and then it encounters another radical okay so there's our there's our other our term what we would call our terminating radical so each one each of these unpaired electrons comes together to form a covalent bond which terminates the chain or caps it off at the end Okay, so we get this, we get the radical, and then no further reaction can take place. Okay, so it, the process has terminated. Okay, so we get an initiation because of the, um, so here we go. So we get initiation because of the breaking of that peroxide bond and then that reactivity of that benzoyl radical. Um, and so that it start, starts this process going causing the trans, basically it's almost like a transfer or, or kind of passing by dominoes or hot potato, this unpaired electron all the way to the end of the chain. Eventually then it, it collides with another radical which terminates, um, which terminates the process. Okay, so this chain is terminated. Okay, and so that then we've got, you know, many, you know, hundreds to thousands of units long. So depending on how much of the process has happened between start to finish, then that gives us a very long alkane chain. So we would have a long chain of, um, of you know, what we would call polyethylene, but basically like a mega long alkane molecule. Okay, so in this process, so that we've, um, uh, so we've started off the breaking of the bonds, we've connected on more monomers, and we've capped it at a certain length. Now that the way this process happens, the conditions under which it happens, then affects the, the exact structure that this takes. Does it end up all in straight lines which pack together really closely? Does it end up in a branched network structure that has a low density? Um, so depending on these conditions, you can get a range of different polymers, even from the same, um, from the same starting monomers. Um, and so that's where we get things um, like um, low density polyethylene or LDPE, you get high density um, density polyethylene, HDPE. Okay, and so, you know, they're kind of two examples that have very fundamentally different physical properties and kind of uses based on their structure, but they start from the same, uh, start from the same stuff.
Okay, so that walks you through that the process of addition polymerization. So showing you what the monomers are and how the process works. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.